Hello friends, welcome to the new tech navigators. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this beautiful HR KPI scorecard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this scorecard page with 10 different KPIs for the HR department. First, we are showing the diversity rate. Here you can see and then employee satisfaction, workforce engagement score, ENPS, employee productivity, employee turnover rate, then retention rate. So these all are dummy data as of now. You can change it with your data. In each uh, this portion of the KPI, we are showing the actual value for the selected month. Then we are showing here the target value for that month. Then the difference between actual and the target or the change. Then here we are showing the change percentage. We are showing this uh, up or down arrow indicator with the color coding as well as we are showing here this color coding also we will explain you how it is working. At bottom we are showing a trend of the spark line so that you can see month on month and we are showing this green and red also the low and high point of the whole year. Then similarly in the employee satisfaction uh, we are showing here the score that uh, of the employee satisfaction and then uh, target uh, value was this uh, but we are 3.9 above uh, of the target so it is in green and this is the percentage of the change all right you can change the month from here let's say i want to see this information for the june month automatically everything will be changed the comparison the formulas everything will be changed okay september this is for the september now we are seeing currently MTD data. We can select here YTD. As we select the YTD, it will show everything in the YTD like uh, the actual value and the target value will show the YTD spark lines. Okay, in place of MTD, you can see that. Okay, if you select YTD, they will be changed. Currently, we are comparing it with the target. But if you want to compare this with the same period last year, then you can select here versus PY previous year. So now we are comparing with the previous year. We can see current year the value of the September YTD is 85.1. In the September previous year, it was 72.3. So we are 12.8% ahead in comparison of the previous year, which is 17.7% above. So you can quickly compare dynamically in this single page your 10 different KPIs and you can see how you are performing. This is ready to use dashboard. You can just input your data and you can see your organization performance for the HR KPI. Now we'll go to the KPI trend sheet and here we are showing KPI label information. So first you can select the KPI. We are taking here 10 KPI. So you can just select any KPI. Let's say I'm selecting this one. Once we selected this one, then it will show the KPI group. Then the score, this is unit. Unit is the score for the employee satisfaction. Then the type. So this is the type of the KPI. Whether this KPI is upper the better or the lower the better, UTB or LTB. Because this is the employee satisfaction, so it will be upper the better, right? Higher employee satisfaction will be always better for any organization. We are showing here the formula and the definition. Then we are showing here four different charts for the employee satisfaction month over month. And this is the target versus actual MTD. So you can see here month by month we are showing the actual value and you can see the target also on this line. So whether we are below the target or above the target, you can quickly compare month by month. Here we are showing the actual versus PY. So what you can do here, you can compare month wise month and you can see what was the value in the previous year of the same period. For example, if we are seeing the data, let's say employee satisfaction for the May month here and what was the last year. So in this May month, we are doing good in comparison of the last year, right? Then here we are showing the same information in the YTD format. So this is the same thing in the YTD top two charts are for MTD. Okay. Now I will show you how you can input your data. So let's come to the input data sheet. These KPI name and the month will remain same. You just need to fill this information. So just uh, see here KPI name. You don't need to change the KPI name here. I will show you where you can change the KPI name. 
you just input your month over month actual value for diversity ratio and then target value what was the previous year value of this month then just input your ytd values what is the ytd value target value and the py value okay same for the kpi 2 kpi 3 kpi 4 kpi 5 kpi 6 kpi 7 8 9 and 10 so we are taking 10 kpis all right now let me come to the kpi definition sheet so here you have to update the kpi information like kpi name and the other information you don't need to change the kpi name here because it will appear automatically okay from the kpi definition sheet now coming to the uh, this kpi definition you just have to enter the kpi number then you have to enter the kpi name then you have to enter the unit and then here you can input the formula how you have calculated or what you want to display in the kpi trend so whatever you formula you put there that will appear here okay then the definition and just put here ltb or utb like it is the upper divider or the lower divider you can select that here all right now coming to the color setting to show this traffic light here we are using this red green and amber we just have put this information for the upper the better kpis if the value is less than or equal to zero then it will be in red and if it is less than or equal to 10 that means 0 to 10 then it will be amber and if that value is uh, greater than 10 percent when i say this value that means i'm talking about this change percentage Whenever change percentage is greater than 10%, then it will be green for the UTBs or upper the better KPIs. Similarly, for the lower the better KPIs, we are taking here if the value is greater than 10, then it will be red. Just opposite, okay. And if it is between 10% and the 0%, then it will be amber. And if it is less than 0%, then it will be green. All right so you can change these numbers as per your requirement keep these two numbers same always and here you can change like in place of 10 i want to put here 15 percent or 5 percent you can change that automatically these color codings will be changed okay now i will show you how we have created this so here what we have done we just have created the two support seats so let me come to those support seats so i'll just come to the view and hidden seats just unhide the support seat here and unhide another seat that is the trend support okay so this seat we are creating for the trend uh, this four charts we are creating on the basis of this so here you can see what we are doing we just have used the indirect function so why we are using the indirect so let me show you the range also which is available here in the named range so we have created the name range for the mtd actual mtd py if i click you can see it is taking me to the input data so we basically we have taken the whole range of the column c d so this is mtd actual mtd target mtd py by td actual by td target by td py all right same thing we have created here okay by td py so now on the basis of this we have created dynamic uh, summary function here so we just have used indirect and here we are taking b3 which is the this one mtd then we put the underscore then b4 which is actual so mtd actual so automatically it will take the range from the mtd actual rest it is this normal sum if function we just have put for let's say for this kpi for this month we want to get the sum of actual so we just have put from input data from here okay the kpi name is here month is here and the actual column is here okay so we just have put that now on the basis of these all we have created these four chart in the first chart if i double click then i'll show you the range this is the trend support you can see it is taking a4 to x16 then here also the other ranges from that trend support sheet now coming to the support sheet here what we have done we just have created a table first we are taking what you have selected which is coming from the n1 of the scorecard that means whatever month you have selected whatever uh, type like ytd or mtd you have selected and whatever comparison like py or target you have selected that is appearing here on the top then we just have put the equal to from the kpi definition sheet and here we just have used the 
again same sum if function like if it is mtd value so we just have taken here this mtd so if it is mtd we always will show here actual value so if it is mtd you can see we just have put the selected value like mtd or ytd then it will uh, show the data from the input data similarly for the target also then uh, change percentage is nothing but the difference between these two the change and the change percentage the same thing we just have put the arrow if it is uh, less than 100 then it will just show here or if this difference is negative then it will show the down if it is positive like this then it will show up for the color coding we just have used again if the kpi type what is the kpi type like if it is kpi type utb for utb up arrow will be always better right so if it is up arrow and it is utb then it will show the green or red so we just have put those colors here and similarly for the traffic light colors we just have used the formula like uh, let me show you here we have put this formula okay so we are just comparing if it is utb and if the difference this difference is greater than we are just comparing whether it's at greater than 10 percent or something like that then accordingly it is changing the traffic light color red amber green so like we have uh, displayed here if you change this value then the, the color will be changed according to this arrow this arrow sorry then uh, this is the normal kpi type what is the type of kpi here again we are showing the value of the mtd or the ytd actual like we have created in the trend support sheet the same thing is here we are just taking the actual values it can be ytd or the mtd whatever you have selected there right then on the basis of this we are creating the spark line to create the spark line we just have used the spark line function here and then we just put the chart as column we are showing the low color as red high color as green and we have taken this range column row number 5 k to k5 to v5 so let me show you this is k5 to v5 for the first kpi then second for this one okay so this is what we are doing here and then here what you can what we are doing we just taking the equal to value from the support sheet once support sheet is ready then you can see everything is coming from here directly Okay, this range, this range, this range, uh, this arrow, and here we have put the conditional formatting. All right, friends. So, friends, that is how we have created this HR KPI dashboard. This is a ready to use dashboard. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.